course! The wolf like Drax? Dunleavy is a monkey eater! A semiovore! I'm such an idiot! Well, an idiot with a 780 SET verbal. <laughs> After practice, me and Mr. D got down to some wolf-to-wolf -wolf bonding. So what else can I tell you? Well, so, so you're even bald as a werewolf? It's werewolf pattern baldness, but I'm comfortable with who I am. Next? Oh, yeah, man, I got there more of us? There's a handful of it. There's a shot of me and the boys marlin fishing off Key Biscayne. <laughs> but here in Pleasantville, it's just you and me. So is... Is there a cure for this? Tommy, are you kidding? This is the this is the best thing that could ever happen to you. Why, it's 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 fantastical. It's it's splendiferous. Why? Why? It's wonderful to be a werewolf just like me. It's crazy. Yeah, Dixney on the musical number. It killed when I workshopped it off Broadway. But the point is, you're in for a heck of a ride. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this place gives you the creeps too? No, Yasmin Bleece on Letterman. Come on. Yes. Okay, what exactly are you doing? Uh, <laughs> just getting my groove on for a Friday night. You know, I'm still available if you... Thanks, anyway. Me. <laughs> Fact! In every city Mr. Dunleavy's ever taught, there have been corresponding zoo break-ins. Fact! In Pittsburgh, zoo officials found a moist owlette with a strand of wolf hair on it. Fact! Mr. Dunleavy ate the marmoset! Come on, Stu wouldn't do that. Wake up and smell the carnage, Tommy! Dunleavy isn't like you. He's an evil werewolf! And a substandard teacher. You know, you're just jealous because he's teaching me how to be a werewolf and he doesn't need the internet or a bunch of weird manuals to do it. Oh, fine. Yeah, all right. Yeah. J -j just ask him about the marmoset, Tommy. Ask him. Now that makes me very angry. I'm sorry, Mr. DC. I knew you wouldn't do anything like that. I just had to make sure that's all. I also ate a three-toed sloth and an aardvark. But does the news mention any of that? No. Gotta get a publicist. Wait a minute. So, you, you did eat it? Oh, yeah. Of course I did. I'm a werewolf. That's what we do. We kill things and eat them. Hello? Actually, we should go to the zoo this weekend. It's a virtual all-you-can-eat buffet. And they got this baby panda coming in from China. I knew it. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. The aquarium it is. I dig sushi. I think you've got the wrong guy. I'm not much of a killer. I mean... Between you and I, I looked away a couple times during screen two. Well, what are you, a werewolf or a werewuss? I can't believe this. You know, Martin was right about you. You're bad news, man. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to congratulate the little geek tonight at the dance. Right before I eat him. <laughs> you mean you eat people too? Oh, yeah, sure. If they find out my secret, I scarf them down for dinner. I wonder how many grams of fat there are in a Merton burger. You're not eating Merton, man. Oh, sorry, rookie. But I don't need a permission slip. Besides, who's gonna stop me? Remember one thing, Grasshopper. I am alpha male in this wolf pack. If you try to stop me, I will crush you. Well, isn't this a story for America's lamest home videos? What? This is the authentic evening wear favored by Dracula creator Bram Stoker. He sported these threads around London in the 1880s. Houston, we have a loser. This dance is a 1980s dance, not an 1880s dance. Becky, get out of here. You know the rule. No girls in the lair. I'm like that's ever going to be a problem, freaker. See what the dance told me? 
you were right about Mr. Dunley. Dude is bad to the bone. Yeah, I knew he was evil. My intuition is uncanny. You the man, Merton. You the man. So what finally made you come around to the truth? Well, basically the fact that he said he wanted to eat you. Oh, no. It was 1984. A young Cindy Lauper taught us that girls just wanted to have fun. I don't know who they were all having fun with because it sure wasn't me. liquid silver nitrate. Loaded into the super soaker and ready to blast. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Besides, there's something so lame about staying in on a Friday night. That's, that's true. Hey, Michael. Love the glove. So, who's the lucky guy? Billy Idol, John Bon Jovi. Listen, I don't know what they teach you guys in the locker room. There's no loss as a girl needs a date to come to a dance. <laughs> 